welcome back. So today's video is a talk through I tutorial. I tell you what all else I have on my face. I did my lips. I did some chit chatting and all of that fun stuff. I did use my new Dior Quint in the color Sun Deck 564. This is limited edition. It looks like a fall Quint, doesn't it? But it's actually the summer collection limited edition. There's two of them. There's one with blues and then there's this one. And when I swatched it, I was like, I have to have it. I have never felt the need to have a Dior Quint so, so bad. Like when I swatched these, the pigmentation was on point. The, the color, like all the shades just that orange in the middle, I was like lusting over. So if you wanna see how I got this eye look using that quint, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? Seriously, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm doing kind of like a different look. If you can see, I already have this eye done. And this isn't, when I saw this palette, it wasn't like, ooh, this is what I'm gonna do with it. Originally, I thought that I would pop that center beautiful orange color in um, the crease, but I changed it up. So, and I don't change up very much. So, I'm gonna take this mini sample that y'all just saw me haul um, in Soft Ochre. It's a paint, it's a MAC paint pot. And I'm going to prime this eye with it. Um, I do like soft, soft ochre. Do I think I'm going to purchase the full size? I don't know. I mean, it's not much of a difference. The only difference I see is that painterly is a little bit more pinkier tone and this is more yellow undertones. So that's really the only, the main difference that I see with the two. So there is that. And then what I'm going to do is take this um, beige color right here and I'm going to put it all over my eyelid like from my lash line all the way up. I love that this Quint has um, has just a soft matte uh, beige color. I love that. So and I also I like to use a cream base but I like to put a powder down as well. I feel like when I put a powder, like a base eyeshadow down, my colors blend a lot better. So, and then that, that serves as my brow bone highlight as well. So I don't have to mess with that again, unless I want to blend it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, MAC 217, I'm obsessed with this brush. So I'm going to take this cream. This reminds me of cream soda in one of the Anastasia kits. But it's just a really, really milky um, orange shade. So I'm going to take that and put it in my crease. This is kind of going to serve as a transition color. Um, I thought maybe originally I would put this on my lid and I, you know, I might do that too. But um, not today. Today we're switching her up. And these shadows perform very, very well. Like when I, this is my first time using them, but when I did this eye, they were very blendable. They just go on really nice. So there is that. And then I'm going to take Sedona Lace. This is an EB09. It's kind of like a spin on the MAC 217. But I'm going to use that to put that deep, deep orange shade into. It's like a rusty orange. So beautiful. So I'm going to use this brush to place it on my lid here. And I'm going to pat it and then I'm going to kind of rub it in. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really do like these shadows. I'm comparing them to Tom Ford. Now Tom Ford shadows, I feel like blend a lot easier not a lot a little bit easier but uh, this quint this color combination i just i felt like i had to have it so there is that and then i'm going to take the 217 again with that um that orange shade and kind of use it to buff out the harsh line that goes from our lid to our crease you know and I'm blending it upwards. 
And then I'm going to take this brush also by Sedona Lace. It's the EB15. If you haven't tried Sedona Lace brushes, I encourage you to try them because they're pretty good. And I'm going to use this deep brown and it, it almost has like a purpley mauve undertone. Doesn't that sound weird? But it does. It's so pretty. And then I'm just going to deepen up the outer V here. So I usually do like darker shades in the crease and then lighter on the lid, you know, but oh my gosh, I thought why not? Let's just change it up. And I'm kind of doing circular motions and then, but I'm sticking mostly to the outer V. And I'm going to add a little bit over here. One eye is always darker than the other. Anybody else do that? Okay. Plus, I've had this eyeball on for like an hour now, but between kids and repairmen and all that stuff, um, I have not got to film this. So I hope y'all are all having a good week so far. I'm going to use, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush, and I got it in a set, in a kit. And it does, so it doesn't have a number on it, but I like to use it, I'm sure y'all see it in all my videos, just to kind of buff out and blend in shadows. It's a really big fluffy brush, so I really like that. And so there is that. And then I'm going to take, an, this came in that kit too, the Sonia Kashuk kit. And I'm going to pick up that dark shade again and I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. My phone's going off. I bet it's my friend on on a Voxer. I'm a Voxer freak right now. Okay, so next I'm going to use this Urban Decay liner. It's one of those duo ended liners, and it's it says Naked Three. So they have a Naked Basics, Naked One, Naked Two, and Naked Three. And this one comes with the color Dark Side and Black Heart. So I'm going to use the Black Heart side. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. There we go. I don't feel like these stay very long in my waterline, truth be told. But it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes. I didn't put any eyeliner on my top lash line. I have been doing that recently. I just, I feel like in the summer and you know, it's really springtime, but in Texas, it's pretty hot. I feel like I haven't really wanted to wear it. And I also feel like it opens my eyes a little bit more when I don't wear it because I have hooded eyes. So essentially once I place the eyeliner, if I don't get like a really super thin line, it's going to cover up the shadow on my lid. You know what I'm saying? So if you have hooded eyes, try and see what happens if you don't wear liner on your top, on your top eye, on your top eye, on your top lash lines. Just try it one day and see how you like it. The first time I did it, I felt naked, you know, without it on there. But now I'm starting to really like it, especially if you use a good mascara and get really close to the base of your lashes. It kind of gives you the appearance that you're wearing an eyeliner, but you're not. And if you're one of those people that can tight line, that's even better. I wish I could tight line. My eyes are too sensitive. Like when I go get my makeup done professionally, which I've only done twice in my whole life for like pictures and stuff, um, I can't. Like my eyes water so bad when they mess up when they mess with my eyes. So next, I'm gonna put this. Miranese Super Long Secret Weapon Mascara on. And this is a lengthening mascara. I mentioned it last week in my favorites. It does, it gives me length. It's also uh, separates my lashes a little bit better than the Guerlain one. So I like to pair them together. My gosh, this these lashes are crazy compared to the other side. It's like when one eye's on point, the other one's like womp womp, you know. So I have already done the rest of my makeup, but I wanted to mention, that's it for the eyes, y'all. Super simple, right? Y'all know when I do tutorials or get ready with me or whatever, it's always super simple because I'm not good at eye kind of stuff. 
or makeup in general. So I'm gonna mention real quick what I have on my face. I'm gonna do my lips first. I'm using Jordana Easy Liner in Tawny. This is a new find for me and I love it. I talk about it all the time. The past couple weeks I've mentioned it like three times on my channel, but I love it. And this is Lime Crimes Coquette. Um, I love the color range that Lime Crime has. Uh, I feel like they're really unique colors, but your lips got to be in good shape to use it because you can see like already my lips look super dry. So I am, I wasn't planning on it, but I think I'm going to throw on a gloss too because I cannot deal with that. So yeah, let's, I'm just grabbing a gloss. This is, um, Life on the A-List by Benefit. I don't even know. I've never even used this, I don't think. So, I gotta have a gloss over those Lime Crime lipsticks, for real. So, um, I'll mention everything that's on my face in the description box, but I'll go ahead and tell y'all real quick. Um, if you saw my review on the new CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation, that's what I have on my face in shade 115. To bronze, I used the Makeup Forever Matte Bronzer in number 20. I used my Too Faced Sweetheart Blush in Peach Beach. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So that's what's on my cheeks. And then um, I topped this blush off with the uh, MAC MSF in Stereo Rose. And I just put it like on the top of my blush and it just gives a really pretty glow. So I absolutely love it. So this is my look. It's kind of like a creamsicle orangey tone spring look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.